All right, hello everyone. We are setting up for hole number two, Pro Guide here. Uh, I'm really hoping that this ball is not downwind. We're really pushing our limits here, backspin 46. We're gonna need to do an island hop here. And having a little bit more backspin is going to be a um, very good thing to have. So switching between Guardian or Sniper is gonna kind of be the question. I'm gonna start with a Sniper here because I don't know what the wind is. And let's just go from there for this one so you only need you know a half decent wind ball and a good sniper sniper eight is the level that it first starts getting good so being at a seven it's a little bit questionable here you are seeing we are getting downwind and you know as I mentioned right off the front of this rough it's not enough I can't I can't do this shot so you're gonna have to bring a guardian if you do want to do that shot otherwise well, why don't we just try doing something a little bit more creative here I usually play this shot um, really don't remember <laughs> I think about two and a half three on the backspin uh, additionally I know I play it relatively towards max so Do that there. Ah, bad timing. Probably in the sand. So, I'm running out of time. You know, next time for the rest of the week, if you don't have what what backspin did I have? 45. You need at least 55. If you don't have uh, 55, I would recommend not bringing it to uh, this hole. And the point where that becomes possible is a sniper eight. Um, of course, I could have went off to the left. I'm sure you guys have seen in some of my tutorials. If you haven't, you can probably check out some tour nine, some, um, yeah, and some of the shootouts where I go off the left of that rough. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit more aggressive, especially for Monday on the tournaments. You want to do a little bit harder shot, just kind of see kind of where you're at. And, uh, you know, I was just running out of time. I could not debate on what what I wanted to do there. So more than anything, you're just seeing time be a factor, causing me uh, a loss of precision. But uh, all things considered, especially if I can, um, you know, get a perfect ball, uh, I can bail myself out of uh, that hole, still get a birdie. Um, you know, I wanted to do something a little bit more aggressive. If you do go off of that rough patch where I just did, you know, it's going to be easier, especially if you pick up those Cinco de Mayo balls. That could be the shot, to be honest with you. I mean, your wind's going to be three, four miles per hour, three to four point something miles per hour. And uh, it's going to be a very easy ring adjustment. You know, playing it very close to max club, you really don't need anything extra. It's just kind of max spot on when you go there. Um, so, um, you know, that, in my opinion, that's probably the shot. It's going to be even easier than the island hop for the hole in one. <laughs> um, there's going to be a little bit element of a danger, but like I said, if you use a Cinco ball, and have that five wind resistance, get it to a three, four wind. Um, it's going to be very straightforward. Uh, and if your sniper's a little undeveloped like mine, we're not going to be able to do the island shot. So um, your best chance for the holdout, in my opinion, is going to be that rough bump, you know, two, three backspin. Just kind of use your ball guide. And that's what I'm going to recommend for you guys. So... Uh, good luck with that one, and uh, here, we'll see, I'm just going to go for this, I usually play kind of close towards max, but a little bit backed off, so, that's six rings, there's seven rings, chance you can put this out of bounds that's the one real danger when you set up to do this uh, I didn't do it there um, very close to even the hole in one 
just a little bit short on my top spin. But with my partner in the water, you know, there's no risk in doing, in, you know, I just need to put it in play. I'll usually just hop it off the island. It's the safe thing to do. Um, but why not? Why not go for that shot with my opponent out of bounds? Uh, one of the reasons that I don't like to play that shot is because it can stay in the bunker. And if it stays in the bunker, you're seven to nine yards. Um, and if your opponent goes right, he's virtually going to beat seven or eight, nine yards every time. So uh, it's not a very reliable shot to, you know, bank everything on. But once you've seen what your opponent do did, um, then it becomes, you know, kind of a useful tool that you can play max distance pretty much spot up and it's uh plays relatively true but like i said you know you can't short hit it even a yard um you can land out of bounds and you know conversely if you go just a little bit longer than i just did there half a yard it just stick it, it fried eggs in the bunker so it's a very risky shot but uh you can see the ace potential is uh very very easy so keep that in mind but uh good luck with that uh, second hole um you know i'll be putting together another guide for you guys so you'll get to see kind of two methods here i just wanted to give you that one um just in case your clubs are a little bit underdeveloped i wanted to give you kind of a second a second shot opinion as opposed to just you know hitting it off the island and being long if I, if I went off the island with that, uh, with that much spin, then, uh, you know, the, you're basically playing for birdie. So don't do it. Um, if, you, if you don't want to play the rough skip that I did, then you can bring Guardian. And those are going to be, you know, your two options. So good luck there. See you guys on the next one.